So the Rwanda flights are going ahead. Common decency has gone out of the window. This fascist Tory party has got its way. And an appallingly racist policy shaming us all as a nation begins today. Although the vast majority of the 130 people originally bound to be on that flight no longer are, this simply shows the flaws of such an awful measure. And speaking of awful, here's Tory MP Peter Bone complaining about that. We hear that a number of the people who are on the flight to Rwanda tomorrow have somehow miraculously got some lefty lawyer to intervene and stop it. So can I suggest to the Minister that instead of booking 50 people on each flight to Rwanda, book 250 people on it and then when they stop half of them from travelling you still have a full flight. Come on, get on and send them. Lefty lawyers? You mean lawyers simply doing their job, Peter? That you have a problem with that on such a contentious issue as this? speaks volumes of just how a vile a creature you are. Wellingborough, you've been electing this miserable excuse for a human being since 2005, with increased majorities at each and every election since. Is he really representative of you? Is he really becoming more and more popular as he becomes ever increasingly more of a national embarrassment? Do you really want to cram more refugees on a flight, overbook them, just to get rid of them faster like he does? Are you proud of living in a country that's become so right-wing electorally that we've gone from freeing people from fascism to inflicting it on them instead? These are human beings, for God's sake. Does he even realise we're taking Rwandan refugees in here in exchange? Or did he skip that bit, assuming he even read the damn bill? Bone gobs off like some kind of Dickensian deranged pariah, a bastardised version of Oliver Twist, wanting more, but in his case it's more cruelty, more deportations, just more plain nastiness from the nasty party. He's bereft of any moral compass, that he's in a position to help shape laws in this country when he thinks and acts like that is perverse.